Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to use Affinity Photos Develop Persona mode. So, as an example, we are going to take this image and edit it from this to this. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. What's going on, guys? It's Vinit from Affinity Uprising. If you are here for the very first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell next to it so you never miss any update. Before starting actual editing, if you would like to work along with me, make sure to download this image from the link given in the description. So before starting actual editing of this photo, I would like to give a little bit of uh, develop different type of mode given in the affinity photo like uh, in the if you go to file and persona you can find a liquefied develop tone mapping and export four different type of persona so in this tutorial we are going to use develop persona basically develop persona used for editing a raw photo click on your dslr or cameras so you can to change your mode using this go to file persona and liquify develop and whatever you would like to go or you can just simply hit this uh, little buttons uh, so we are uh, first of all open this image from going to file and open as you would as you know and then just simply go to file or click here on the develop persona and it will open the develop persona tab uh, and this function is very similar to photoshop's uh, camera row filter so in this uh, so first of all we are going to increase the saturation because we want to increase the intensity of a blue color as you can see there is a no increment in the blue colors intensity for that we are going to go white balance and increase the temperature so if if so i think decrease the temperature so if we decrease the temperature the for, uh, other co cool colors of this image will also increase okay as you can see we decrease the temperature but it will affect oppositely so we increase the temperature then after we go to exposure and we want to little bit of brightness so we don't want to go full just we want to go a very small percentage of it like uh, oh, I think this enough so after that we will we want to go to tones and love curves so in this we want to increase the blue level of the image so we select the blue curves uh, like uh, as you can select the master red or green or whatever you like based on your image and just increase a little bit of blue range in the curves and then go to again again basic and increase the shadow and highlight so shadow and highlight used to increase the attention of the image okay so if we increase the shadow full you can see there is a lot lot of uh, highlights and we if we increase the shadow or uh, decrease the shadow all the way down then there is a not uh, the image is not look very good so we increase the shadow little bit like nine percent is enough and we also decrease the clarity now you or uh, you may be asking why decrease the clarity if we increase the clarity then it will not it will not look good as natural and if we increase clear decrease clarity so much then it will affect similarly like increment of the clarity so we small decrease clarity like three percent is enough now the most love i love the most favorite feature of affinity photo that i personally love is the develop mode and in that we can just click on this little button to see before and after image so just go to split view and as you can see you can drag before and after image and you can clearly see that is a huge difference between before and after image you can go to here like mirror view or you can simply see the all to full image so personally i like this feature uh, i like this feature very much or uh, you because you can clearly see the difference 
so in develop mode there are not of not very much of the other uh, other features so uh, there is uh, develop mode is personally used to edit the raw photo of your camera this is a very basic tutorial of affinity photos develop mode we are going to see the advanced version of this in the future video so i think that's all for today if you if you like this video make sure to press the like button and share it with your other friends if you would love if you would like to learn something different from in the affinity photo make sure to comment in the comment section and i would love to help you out so i will meet you soon till then stay fit and stay editing